ICC judges issue arrest warrants against Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin and Maria Alexeyevna Lvova Belova. Here's a summary of the article. Situation in Ukraine. ICC judges issue arrest warrants against Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin and Maria Alexeyevna Lvova Belova. Today, the 17th of March 2023, Pre-trial Chamber 2 of the International Criminal Court issued warrants of arrest for two individuals in the context of the situation in Ukraine, Mr. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin and Ms. Maria Alexeyevna Lvova Belova. Mr. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, born on 7 October 1952, President of the Russian Federation, is allegedly responsible for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population and that of unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. A. VII. And 8. 2. B. VII. Of the Rome Statute. There are reasonable grounds to believe that Mr. Putin bears individual criminal responsibility for the aforementioned crimes, for having committed the acts directly jointly with others and or through others of the Rome Statute, and for his failure to exercise control properly over civilian and military subordinates who committed the acts, or allowed for their commission, and who were under his effective authority and control, pursuant to superior responsibility of the Rome Statute. Ms. Maria Alexeyevna Lvova Belova, born on 25 October 1984, Commissioner for Children's Rights in the Office of the President of the Russian Federation, is allegedly responsible for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population and that of unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. A. VII. And 8. 2. B. VII. Of the Rome Statute. Pre-trial Chamber 2 considered based on the prosecution's applications of the 22nd of February 2023, that there are reasonable grounds to believe that each suspect bears responsibility for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population and that of unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation, in prejudice of Ukrainian children. Mindful that the conduct addressed in the present situation is allegedly ongoing and that the public awareness of the warrants may contribute to the prevention of the further commission of crimes, the Chamber considered that it is in the interests of justice to authorize the registry to publicly disclose the existence of the warrants, the name of the suspects, the crimes for which the warrants are issued, and the modes of liability as established by the Chamber. This post received a score of 43,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Explain like I am 5. Does this mean that whenever Putin visits a country that recognizes the ICC, for state visit, conference, ETC, he may be subject to immediate arrest? As he is a sitting head of state, this is a complicated and untested area of international law at the intersection of international criminal law and state immunity. Arrest of people wanted by the ICC rests with states. Heads of state enjoy personal immunity and cannot be arrested in other states. It examines the ICC's arrest warrant of Omar al-Bashir, the former president of Sudan. Adding to this, here's a blog post that discusses more specifically the question of whether or not Putin can be tried for aggression. This arrest warrant isn't for aggression either though, if I'm not mistaken. Seems to point more specifically towards trafficking. Not that it really matters in the grand scheme but could be a whole other can of worms. This post is in regards to a hypothetical question of whether or not the ICC could try Putin for aggression, which is one of its competences along with genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes, Article 5 of the Rome Statute. The current case concerns crimes against humanity, i.e. the forced relocation of Ukrainian children from occupied territories. Thank ya. Like I said I wasn't completely sure about the literal, even. Does anyone know what this means on a practical level? Not really clear. Historically, heads of state are granted immunity, and it's unlikely that countries would actually arrest the head of state of a different country. Then again, this hasn't really happened before so it's all untested. However, I do think Milosevic was a head of state when he was indicted in 1999 in Den Haag. He was indicted by the ICTY which was created by UNSC resolution and is not connected to the Rome Statute. Also, he was only arrested in 2001 when he was no longer the head of state, and by Yugoslav authorities. Symbolic but may give pause for thought. 
more effective would have been also issuing arrest warrants for a few dozen cronies who are not as well protected as he is. They stated they wouldn't usually make the warrant public but it's done with the intentions of stopping further crimes. So it's very possible the less important people do have warrants, or will soon, even if we don't hear about them. I really doubt this will be the thing that gets Putin to stop committing more crimes. I do too, but that is their reasoning. He's a sick man. But we better try everything before nuclear war. I've been saying from day one that Biden needs to fly to Moscow and kick Putin in the nuts, but no one listens to me. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.